You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to another episode of FIFA Through the Years. Today we are going to be looking at the oldest players in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team and how they have changed since FIFA 10. Quite cool to look at and some of them are still really good. And actually, it actually has my favourite player of all time in this list. I wonder if any of you can guess before it even comes up. Now if you're looking to buy some Ultimate Team Coins, go and check out futcoinemporium.com. Their link will be down in the description, a fast, cheap and reliable coin service. And if you use the discount code Capgun Tom, you'll get 5% off all your purchases. So, let's dive in. First player is going to be our oldest player in this entire video, and it is Ian Goodison, the Jamaican from Tranmere Rovers. He has been, well, he's been pretty standard throughout all the years on FIFA. You can see there, he's gone at max to 65 rating overall. He's been 63 for the last three years, and he was 60 back in FIFA 10. Obviously, he's not all that fast, being quite old, and uh, that's to be expected, to be honest. But he is still a pretty good player. I mean, I looked at his stats for his international career. He's played for Jamaica 120 times. And in that time, he's managed to score 10 goals. So, you know, he's managed to score 10 goals as a centre-back for Jamaica. So that is pretty impressive, you have to admit. If you guys have any sort of suggestions for me to make any other sort of through-the-year videos, then put them down in the comments section. A lot of you asked me to do the biggest downgrades, but it's very difficult to find the biggest downgrades. And if you know any of the biggest downgrades, you know, people that have gone from all, mo well, gold to bronze players, then put those down in the comments section as well. And I'll, of course, I'll take them into consideration and make a video out of them. Anyway, our next player is going to be Zay Roberto. Looking through this guy's well, his CV, it's absolutely ridiculous. He's played at Real Madrid, he's played at Bayer Leverkusen, he's played at Bayern Munich, he's played at Santos, he's played at Hamburger, he's played at Gremio as well. Now, you look at him and you may think, hey, wait a minute, there's only four cards there, there's five FIFAs. Where is his FIFA 12 card? Now, he was at Al Garafa, which is a Qatari team, and uh, I don't think the Qatar League was actually on the game until FIFA 13 or FIFA 12. FIFA 13 so um, I don't believe that he was in the game on that year which is a bit of a shame but uh, he's had some great cards you can see there his CDM card on uh, FIFA 10 probably the pick of the bunch with the 81 pace and 80 defending looks like a very very strong card and he's even managed to grab himself an inform in his time at Gremio he uh, got one on FIFA 13 where he was a left midfielder so that's pretty cool for him next up is a 39 year old and his name is Yonsen now he actually hasn't been on the game for all that long he's only been in FIFA 13 and FIFA 14 now the reason I picked him out because there was quite a few 39 year olds that I could have chosen from I think there was like six or seven I know you picked three the reason I picked him is if we have a look he's actually managed to get himself an inform already this year which means he has the oldest inform on the entire game which is pretty cool it has 71 shooting not particularly quick but with the 86 heading as well I'm pretty sure it will be a deadly card from crossing and probably long shots as well slash finesse shots on this game our next player is going to be Zanetti oh my god I absolutely love Zanetti he's been around for donkey's years you can see there the 40 year old has got well a card on every single FIFA but he's failed to get himself a single informant all the time a FIFA on the team I couldn't believe it when I saw it but that 86 rated right wing back on FIFA 10 looks absolutely mental he's got unbelievable all round stats obviously over the years he's sort of changed his position he's been a DM over FIFA 12 and FIFA 13 and then on FIFA 14 he's actually gone to right mid not sure if he's such a good right mid but if you want someone who's going to be defensive I think that he may be your man and uh, definitely one worth trying out we couldn't have done this video without including the oldest player in the premiership and it is Kevin Phillips you can see there the player that has been all over the place he's been at Birmingham City for FIFA 10 and FIFA 11 he's been at uh, Blackpool for FIFA 12. He was actually at Blackpool for FIFA 13, but he went on loan to Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace bought him for um, the 13-14 the season, and you can see there, he's actually got his lowest card, which is kind of strange, because I looked at his goal record, and he actually has one of the best goal records or goal scoring ratios that he's actually had throughout the last, I don't know, five years or something 
at Crystal Palace. So I don't know why his card has dropped all the way down to a 68 rated card. That's just EA logic for you there. But still very impressive. He managed to bag himself an inform on FIFA 13, which makes me question more. Why the hell did they drop his overall rating? It's just... It's just silly, really. He should have been at least 71 again, or maybe 72, 70 at the very least. But 68, that's a little bit of a slap in the face, in my opinion. Our final player is going to be my personal favourite player of all time in real life. He plays for Man United, and of course, it is Ryan Giggs. Absolutely love the guy. I think he's an absolutely quality player. He always has been. And he's just unbelievable that he's still going so strong for the age that he's at, playing at one of the top clubs in the world. You can see there... He's gone from 80 to 82 to 83 to 81 to 80. Obviously going from left mid into central positions as he's got a little bit older. Lost his pace and, you know, wingers really do need pace. So it's understandable that he would move central. Still has a great impact on the game whenever he plays. And you can see there his two inform cards. One on FIFA 11, one on FIFA 12. Both very good looking cards. 85 rating for both of those. And yeah, just an unbelievable player and I love him. And he'll be sorely missed when he does eventually retire. Whether it will be at the end of this season I don't know because it wouldn't surprise me if he goes on for another but we'll, we'll have to see so guys I hope you have enjoyed the video obviously if you could drop it a like that would be amazing 750 likes will ensure that I do another one of these FIFA through the years in the near future if you have any suggestions for players teams themes whatever it is put it down in the comment section for future videos and I will of course get around to doing them at some point and yeah hope you've enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and I will see you all next time